What would you get if you took a group of today's top surfers and gave them a chance to write a collection of surfing's most iconic boards from the past, as well as the most intriguing shapes of the future? You'd get Red Bull Decades, a new web series that shows where surfing has come from and where it's going. Normal's boring. That's why we're here on this trip, trying different boards, and we're not being normal. We're being weird, and that's what surfing's all about. Raymana, thank you for having us at your house. Welcome to Red Bull Decade 1990s. This is an exact replica of Kelly Slater's 6-1, 17 and 7 8 2 and a quarter, shaped by Al Merrick. This board sent a million grommets around the world straight to their shapers, asking for a rockered out potato chip with carbon fiber strips right down the stringer. There's a lot of question about the history of the thruster. I think that you have to harken back to Simon Anderson and, and the modern day thruster and what he did. The thruster is really the base of everything that, that we do now and that idea of having more area in the board, especially the back of the board, keeps the board out of the water. You don't have as much drag and so you can do quicker direction change, you can get more speed and, and thrust out of, the, out of the bottom turn. Computers getting better where they can replicate boards much closer, which is the hardest thing to do as a shaper is to constantly replicate that magic board. Yeah, I think that's exciting. You know, I was building Kelly's boards, I guess, since he was, gosh, 12 years old and maybe 14, I can't remember, but we always kept his boards narrow. He didn't want to go wider with his boards or thicker with his boards. He went a little longer. And so that kind of developed off that whole theory. That's where the, the narrow board idea came in. But Kelly, because he was small, that allowed him to make a little quicker direction changes in steeper areas of the way. Kelly has matured and, and gotten larger and, and gotten more powerful, so I don't think necessarily the board dimensions would fit him. Because Kelly was doing things on it, I, I, a lot of people weren't doing on the way. Naturally, people wanted to make boards like that, and uh, I think it got a little extreme and carried away as far as the rockers go and the width and stuff. I mean, you can't have a 190 pound person riding a, hundred, a board made for a 140 pound guy. I do think it had a, a you know profound effect uh, on professional surfing and uh, a, young, a lot of the young kids coming up. And I think we saw a, a jump in, in a lot of surfers' abilities and especially the kids that were you know, following after Kelly and, and trying to do what he did. We were going places that hadn't been explored before, I think, the surfboards, and, and that was exciting for me as a designer and shaper. And to have someone that could go out in the water in two waves to tell you whether it worked or didn't work, that's really special. I do remember this vividly, just the look of it, and the way he is riding the waves was a little bit different than everyone else in his entire generation and everyone prior to him. So, it's a good looking board. I do. do some surfing.
yeah, the Slater boy, probably I had like the, the biggest connection to it just from watching Kelly through his movies. They were kind of the most played in my house when I was younger and now having the opportunity to ride the actual board that he was riding then, I don't understand like how it worked. <laughs> it's like, re it's really quite difficult to ride. The reason it was so challenging for all of us was our expectations were so much higher to be able to just whip that thing around as he did, you know, 20 years ago. And it, it just, you know, it, it didn't happen right off the bat. And I think that, that board took a little bit more time to kind of work out. Kelly surfed so light, or he used to surf a lot more light-footed, and I think he was really thin when he was younger. And uh, I feel like I'm kind of like a sluggish surfer, and I need to like, you know, I need some help. <laughs> and uh, that board definitely wasn't giving it to me. I was able to flick a couple of little airs, but it was, it was really tough for sure. 